Hi, today I want to talk to you about something called the Hitler Principle. Now, before I go into what that principle is, let me first start by laying down a foundation that I absolutely hate what Hitler did to the Jews, to black people, to homosexuals, to people with learning difficulties, autism. He killed huge amounts of people, right? He was a very, very evil man, Hitler. And there's nothing particularly good about him at all. Okay, so let me start by saying that those are my beliefs in regards to Adolf Hitler. Now, let me move on. Let us give you a little bit of a history lesson. At the end of First World War, Germany lost the war and they were forced to sign a Treaty of Versailles. Almost at gunpoint, they were forced to try and sign this treaty. This treaty basically took everything away from Germany. The Rhineland took away their, their navy, their uh, army. It um, left, left them loads of money in debts. Um, I mean, they were destitute. Their spirit was broken, Germany. Their complete... Uh, heart was broken, everything. They were laughed at and scoffed at by the rest of the world, a little bit like incels are today, okay? So Germany was like the country version of an incel, essentially, okay? So then enters the fray, Adolf Hitler, Germany's saviour, as it were. Now, what Hitler does, even though he was a very, very evil man, psychotic, everything else, there's one thing that he did that worked. And what he did was... He, he saw the needs of the people, met those needs in exchange for loyalty, and it worked, okay? That is why the German people did what they did under Hitler. There's some people that rebelled, like um, Oskar Schindler, who rebelled against that, against this Hitler principle. So the principle, this Hitler principle is, is if you give people what they need, their recognition, their worth, building them up after a, a low self-esteem to a high self-esteem, telling them that they're okay, giving them what they want, need to hear inside, they will give you their loyalty, okay? That is what the Hitler principle is, and it works, okay? It does, it does work. So we really have to be careful of this Hitler principle that plays out in today's society. So basically, you can have a group of people online who are giving um, the lowly and insignificant people uh, respect that they don't normally get, recognition, and all these things that they, they genuinely need them. They genuinely need those things. And in the exchange, they give that, that group their loyalty, almost automatically. This is to, to some degree how, how MGTOW works, okay? If people are saying, why are so many people going MGTOW? Look at the amount of men that are destitute, that are low self-esteem after a bad relationship, that are uh, low recognition, no recognition, no no recognition from women, no recognition from anyone, the heartbroken, uh, uh, sensitive. And what MGTOW content creators come along is they say, look, we know how you feel. We recognise you. We, we, we build you up. We, we say, no, you can have a high self-esteem and all this sort of thing. And in exchange, these people give MGTOW their loyalty. This is why whenever you see a MGTOW video, it'll have loads of views and loads of good comments on it. Now, I'm not saying from that that MGTOW is wrong. I'm just saying that that, that is genuinely how it works. OK, you could argue that Hitler, to begin with, wasn't wrong to build the German people up the way he did. Hitler to make Germany a great nation again. But then what he did further on from that with his anti-Semitism, killing Jews, killing black people, killing all these people and murdering these people was, was evil. OK, very, very evil. So to start with, although he was evil from the beginning, what he did wasn't evil from the beginning. But then as he became into power, he started to bully and destroy Jewish people, running them from their homes and then eventually sending them to concentration camps in his quote-unquote final solution, okay? Um, really, I'm a quarter Jewish, okay? My father's half Jewish, my grandmother was Jewish. So had Hitler been around today, taken over England, I, I would be killed, okay, along with the rest of my family. So, I, you know, I get how evil Hitler was, okay? But the principle he used in the beginning, this principle of giving people what they genuinely needed in exchange for their loyalty worked okay it worked and that is how that is why the german people went and agreed to 
to sign Jewish people into the, the concentration camps, to, to, to create the trucks for the gas chambers and things and create the gas and all this sort of business. They, they didn't do it out of fear. Some of them might have done, but mostly it wasn't out of fear. It was out of loyalty and respect, okay? Because Hitler had given the German nation, the German people, what they had needed, okay? And in exchange, the German people gave Hitler loyalty. So this is the same, it's the same way feminism works, okay? Feminists give women who are not recognised, give women who feel beaten down and sexually uh, uh, and physically abused by men, feminism gives women that recognition, that platform to say, look, you know, you're all right, it's, it's men's fault, it's, it's not your fault you're in this position, which all may well be true, but they may get the loyalty. And it means then whatever the feminists say after that, they've got their loyal subjects. Now, some women can rebel against it and have their own mind, just like Oster Schindler did in Germany, but not many do, okay, not many do. So part of this video is to highlight the importance of having an open mind when you find out about these groups like MGTOW, feminism, incels, the men's rights movement, whatever the situation that the group is, you have to enter the thinking about it with an open mind and not just because they're giving you something that you, you feel you need inside, then you, then you automatically give them your loyalty. You have to look at what they're saying at face value and make a decision based on that. Okay, thank you for watching.